Hey everyone, let me know how you're doing in the comments down below and welcome to the IGN first of how Sonic Frontiers came to be an open zone game while they are interviewing Izuka-san, I believe is what the video is supposed to be. So my power actually came back on, I just figured I should do this really quick. Sonic Forces music, I'm kidding. Most of the music in Forces is, is pretty good. Some of it's not so great. Once, hold on. All right, sorry. I'm moving my camera because um, subtitles. Hopefully, it does not get in the way of anything. Well, that's good. They wanted to challenge themselves. So, Most of Force's issues, uh, are because it just didn't have a lot of development time. Go watch the What Happened by Matt McMuscles. They only had like a year to actually build the game. That's good to know that this was like talked about for a while though. リニアなソニックゲームをいかにこう自由度の高いアクションゲームにするかっていうところがスタート地点なので、まあいわゆるあのオープンワールドのアクションアドベンチャーゲームとはあの起点が違うんですね。なのでベースとしてはスリソニック
何をすれば友達を助けられるのかそういういろんな疑問に対してお客さんもソニックも一緒になって you know, not super crazy deep or anything but different that's fair っていうところがこのソニックロンティアのテーマなんですねなのでサウンドトラックに関してもあのまあいわゆるあのそのステージにあった yeah, the upbeat music will probably be during like those linear levels 雰囲気を盛り上げる楽曲ということにフォーカスして作っています Yeah, the music is great, and I and I can appreciate that a lot. That the open world or open zone areas have these more almost Metroid themes because they're like very atmospheric. No, that's not really good news because it's kind of the same thing that happened with Forces is trying to like please everybody. Sonic Origins looks great though. Literally, the only downside to it is that weird $5 extra DLC thing that should, stuff should have just been in the game. It's not cool, but it's not the worst thing in the world. あのーまあ、もちろんあの私は過去のインタビューでも答えたことがあるんですけども、まあ、ソニックアドベンチャーシリーズを、まあ、いつか継続させたいという思いはあります。でまあ、ソニックアドベンチャーでもあのアドベンチャーフィールドという、まあ、小さなあのオープンなスペースがありましたけども、まあ、そういった技術も、まあ、今回のフロンティアに生かされてきているのかなと。なので、まあ、次のタイトルのことはまだ考えてないですけども。Wow, what? I don't. I, he's just saying he kind of wants to. That's not like. I'm just like. It's weird that he brought it up. This is a good interview. I'm a little stuck on the Sonic、uh, Adventure 3 talk. <laughs> But、um, let's be realistic here, everybody. Oh, the music's great, man. Yeah, see, he says a title by title basis will be focused on these target audiences. Meaning, there will, I don't know if they're trying to say that they have two teams again, which,、uh, you know, they've, they've done before with success, as long as it was, you know, intentional splitting, not like what happened with Sonic 06. On a title by title basis, we will focus on these target audiences and deliver games for those fans. And he's referring to new fans and old fans. That kind of makes me think that they also want to re release. Adventure because I feel like they don't literally mean we're gonna make this is just how it sounds to me. Probably wrong, but who knows that maybe they want to re release Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, maybe Unleashed, whatever. Who knows? Which would be cool. A lot of us have wanted that. I, I would like to not have to, you know, because I, I just don't have an Xbox, so I don't like having to get my old like Xbox One out to to play like Unleashed and stuff. Obviously, I can play the PC version of Generations with the mods, but it's not the same. And I know on like Series X, apparently. Unleash like runs flawlessly now, which is awesome, but I just don't. I'm not gonna buy an Xbox just for that, if that makes sense. Uh, I'll have to, I might have to get an Xbox at some point now with the Bethesda stuff. This this either could mean we're gonna re release some old games for for fans, or probably not remake, right? I don't think, like, I don't think they've done that at all, or we will advance adventure. And the reason I don't think that it's about advancing adventure three. It's because he says right here he would like to continue the Sonic Adventure series at some point, which is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know he's said it before, but like, I don't know, it's been a while, hasn't it? I don't remember. But he says something in particular. And I do like the fact that he mentions that、um, Sonic Adventure's stuff is kind of like why some of the building of this has actually been great. So he says, I really. He has not thought about the next game yet. That's fair because Frontiers is not done, right? But I would hope all of the work we put into Sonic Frontiers can be used to make another Sonic Adventure game sometime. I don't. People are going to jump on that and think that means like they've confirmed it. You know what I mean? 
part of this is like i know that people are very vocal about wanting a sonic adventure 3 but part of that is like a test to see if people still want it obviously they'll get that and people will you know people want it but he's saying he's he's pretty much just saying i want to do that but that's not like on the table right now this is still good this is cool though like i like sonic adventure most sonic fans do it just has some problems like it is not aged well but I, I still love i love adventure 2 and i and i have them on pc i have them on my xbox i have them on like everything right and i would i would love a, another uh, even just a remaster of a kind like maybe if they did not an adventure dx because that was technically not like a super great one but just something you know uh would be nice but this is not like him literally saying hey we're going to make Sonic Adventure 3. That's not what that means. I wish I could tell you it did because that'd be really cool. But he's saying, hey, I want to make one. And it's not it's not. Hey, buy Sonic Frontiers that will make Adventure 3 happen. He's not even they're not talking about that. Obviously, that will help, but it's not like a do or die. Right. Sonic Frontiers needs to do good by us as fans, first and foremost, so we can do good by them because the game looks fun. It just looks kind of rough right now, but it's an older build. We need to see more modern gameplay. That's pretty much it. And and I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people saying that's, you know, it's 06 2.0. I've said this before. That's not true. It looks like it's a little better than forces, which is not great. But that being an older build, that kind of helps uh, to know a lot. That interview or I'm sorry, the hands on impressions from IGN were really nice to have. I can only hope it's a bit of an older build, not just a few months. Um but we'll see, you know, and I this is actually a great interview with Izuka san because I actually really respect a lot of the stuff he had to say. I think that talking the fact that they talked about it from pretty much the get go is a good sign. It wasn't like a last minute decision. I think the fact that he's referring to the adventure game as being part of an inspiration is an is, is great. I love the fact that he talks about the story because Sonic Forces story was something I believe it was Aaron Weber, who's the guy that used to run the, the Twitter and stuff. Right. And he works at let's say in Japan now, I think. He's a cool dude. And he was like, he was telling him that the story stuff was not good. Like they just, they do this every time. And they were like, we'll take that into consideration, you know, but it was Sega, I think specifically. But yeah, I mean, everything he says here is actually, I'd argue good news. They've been talking about it for a while. They've pulled some stuff from their adventure work to kind of, you know, get a, get a basis for what stuff they want to do here. They, uh, I forget who the writer is that they hired, but a lot of people uh, like that writer from what I understand. So it's cool that they're getting a different level of writing for the story. I'm not saying it's going to be the most immaculate piece of narrative ever, but you know, um, that it'll probably be, it hopefully will be better. I'm a little sad. We didn't get much news on it, but they are trying to keep it a mystery. No, I can respect that. Curious if it has anything to do with infinite. As I've said before, there's just some vibes about it. It makes me think that he's back and they don't, cause they don't want to waste the character. They kind of did in, in forces, but again, go watch what happened uh, for forces. It's a great video. It makes me, really feel for sonic team honestly like it is not their fault it's mostly like deadlines and sega being a little crazy about that type of stuff and we it's weird because they're mostly like that for sonic and i guess because it just sells you know because of the 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 children's side of the fan base um not to i'm not saying anything negative about it of course it's you know it's like poke, even pokemon pokemon targeted toward kids so but yeah anyway my point is uh, about this stuff he's saying like hey i would like to make it an adventure game but like it could happen and it could not happen that's pretty much it like it's just neat that he's talking about it but that's you know that's it he's not saying hey we're making it next game's not decided on because this game's not even done right it's not it hasn't gone gold it's not even technically through bug phase. Maybe. Well, we don't know for sure where it is, but it's not done. And he could just be lying. <laughs> like he could, you know, he can't just be like, I have decided what the next Sonic game is going to be. And it's going to be Sonic Adventure 3 or Sonic Heroes 2 or a new thing altogether like Sonic Frontiers might be because it might be technically an indirect sequel to to uh, forces. But I think that this whole bit here is great. I think the inter I think this interview has great uh, or his, his it's not really an interview per se because it's not really being asked questions I guess, but his responses are actually pretty good. Like I actually really like that video. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't really make me feel better about this game per se, but I'm glad to hear the things that I I heard. It, it it's a good it's a good little you know how it came to be right. I think that. I'm glad I may be a little bit more optimistic because I'm uh, cautiously optimistic because I'm glad to hear it was sort of the plan from early talks. That's good. That means they really were thinking about it at least. But hopefully we see some more of this soon. I think they've been showing videos every like three days. I can't remember how what the gap's been so far. Hopefully we see something else soon that shows more modern stuff because there's I mean, this this is all like the first part of the game, too. So 
hopefully we get more of that um, soon. I don't want to see everything, obviously. I mostly just want to see a more modern build. I want to see. I really do. I do want to see what the cyberspace levels are, I think is what the, the leak calls them. But like the, the linear stuff, I do want to see those. I just want to see like one, you know, hoping there's more than one per island because that would be a little like eh, unless they're really long or something. But let me know what you guys thought about this down below. Let me know how you feel about Sonic Frontiers. Again, I'm cautiously optimistic and I'm obviously I'm a huge Sonic fan, so I'm excited. It's my favorite thing ever. But me being excited does not mean like I'm going to just eat it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was a good it was a good video. Um, It's good. It's not that's two days in a row or two two videos in a row with uh, only good news. So <laughs> that's I'm kidding. But like, yeah, you know what I mean? The first video was like, it just look kind of rough. That's all. Second video still kind of rough. Look a little better, though. Mostly because the combat stuff was was neat, um, but this was a, there was a good um, hands on impressions from IGN again. Thanks to them for for all this, and also a pretty good you know sort of um, process I guess a, a breakdown of of the process from Izuka San. So like I said, let me know what you guys think down below. Hope you're staying safe with everything going on. Love you all, and I hope your dreams come true. Peace out, everyone. Oh, 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 oh,